Hello, fellow pilgrims. My name is Melody Wittenbach, and I'm the director of the Roach Center for Catholic Education here at Boston College. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to journey with you and Ignatius to Rome on this virtual pilgrimage. And also grateful for the opportunity to collaborate with Father Casey Bumier, director of the Institute for Advanced Jesuit Studies, and Karen Kiefer, director of the Church in the 21st Century, and their talented teams to develop this app for our spiritual nourishment. I've been invited by Father Casey to provide a bonus video this week on the theme of departure as it relates to a statue installed yesterday here at Boston College known as Angels Unawares and a series of free lectures and events that we've organized over the month of November that you are all welcome to attend and can find more information about in our Discover tab. I'm going to share my screen so for those of you who are remote can actually get a glimpse of what this sculpture looks like. The sculpture, as you can see here, is a replica of the original casting that was commissioned by Pope Francis and permanently installed in St. Peter's Square last September on the 105th World Day of Refugees and Migrants. Created by Canadian artist Timothy Schmalz, Angels Unawares was inspired by Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2, where we read, do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. As you can see from the images, fig in images, figures that are fashioned from different cultures and countries and historical periods, we're reminded that the human story is a migration story. Whether for education, work, safety, or survival, persons have consistently been in search of a more dignified life. The visual manifestation of this reality in the scripturally based sculpture highlights that while each person's reason for migrating is unique, our faith response is not. We all have the responsibility to extend to others the same dignity and generous hospitality that God so freely extends to us. As you gaze at the figures in the sculpture, we're reminded of how life holds moments of consolation and desolation. Departure holds a different meaning for each person. At the front of the boat, we see more consolation, where you notice figures, such as the pregnant woman, looking forward in confidence, anticipating new life. We have a father with his son on his shoulders, looking ahead with excitement for what the future holds. And on other figures, especially towards the back of the boat, we see desolation. From the individual huddled over, cold, uncertain, and alone, to a mother holding her child fearfully, looking longingly at what life was and uncertain of what the future may bring. One of my favorite parts of this sculpture is that in the center, you find Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus fleeing to Egypt, a reminder for us that they were once refugees too. And rising above the Holy Family, you see a pair of angel wings, indicative of the belief that all human life is sacred. So this month, we will hold a series of lectures and events that challenge you to reflect on and learn about those migrants and refugees today who depart their homes in search of a more dignified life. Just like the figures on the boat, what are their fears, their hopes and dreams, their deepest desires? And then consider for yourself the same questions. Are there any similarities? What does this reveal about our common humanity, our sacred story? In his most recent encyclical, Fratelli Tutti, Pope Francis affirms that migrations more than ever before will play a pivotal role in the future of our world. He encourages us not to allow the fear of indifference or, di or difference dictate our response, but to open ourselves to healthy, authentic relationships, which have the power to expand and enrich us. And just as St. Ignatius did, we are invited to reach out and risk encountering the vulnerable, expansive space on our departures, as that is where we experience the sacred and come to know the angels among us. So we invite those in the area to come to Boston College to gaze at the sculpture located right in the heart of campus 
between Gaston Hall and O'Neill Library. And we hope that all of you will join us for one of the many virtual events offered this month of November. From a conversation with Cardinal Cherney, Pope Francis's Undersecretary of Migrants and Refugees, to an agape latte offered by Father Tran or a Wednesday night candlelight mass offered by Father Casey. You can find all these virtual events and more on our, on our Discover tab. All of these lectures and events remind us that with each departure in our life, there is an essential and often forgotten aspect of our common humanity. We were created for a fulfillment that can only be found in love. Blessings on this journey, and we hope to see you virtually during this month of November. <laughs>